Okay. Okay. I have found something I didn't know I would find, and now we're here, so let's talk about this. Before we get into the video, I just want to say, I mean, absolutely no disrespect towards Trump voters, Trump supporters, whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, this is a place where we're not going to attack each other over our political views. I just thought this particular article was absolutely hilarious. But let's go check it out. Sonic Smut is flooding Trump's new social media network. This is brought to us by Kotaku. Sega's mean mascot is a fave of the internet hooligans causing a ruckus on Getter. What the hell is a Getter? Nary a month after the dramatic implosion of former president and current Twitter refugee Donald Trump's attempted logging career, the Septuagenarian authoritarian team of grifting enablers has launched its latest attempt at a social network for folks who are just too darn patriotic for mainstream social media, and also for all sorts of Sonic the Hedgehog no-no content. The unpleasant name Getter, Hillary Clinton lives rent-free in that dude's head, is essentially a Twitter clone. Its slogan, the marketplace of ideas, suggests that inexplicably fence-sitting centrists might find it appealing as well. And that's particularly true if they're into furry vor artwork and memes about Sonic the Hedgehog getting pregnant. Now I for one would consider myself centrist, but far more left-leaning, so don't lump me in with this. This is not somewhere that I would choose to be. This clearly seems like a far-right platform. Centrists are not far-right. Get that idea out of your head because it's a really common misconception. That keeps coming up, doesn't it? It seems that Getter's early launch, it was originally promised for Independence Day, has attracted a variety of leftist riffraff from TikTok, weird Twitter, and the like and they've embraced the unsavory Trump-associated bird site wannabe as the perfect place to share degenerate hentai, furry no-no, leftist sonic memes, and stock photos of pudgy aged men in their underwear. QAnon genius Jordan Sather, who suggested drinking bleach to cure the Rona, noted that shills are already hitting the QAnon hashtag on Getter Hard, I won't repost what I'm finding, no-nos and bad words and stuff. So far, Getter's moderation safeguards haven't stood a chance against the NSFW communist impreg onslaught, which has flooded venerable tags like QAnon with sorts of sexuality threatening erotica that pass through MAGA uncle minds during Thanksgiving rants. It seems likely that a fair few decent, upstanding conspiracy theorists and proto-fascists are rapidly being forced to come to terms with the existence of a large chunk of the shitposting internet, or at least to acknowledge it outside of their secret bookmarks. As you can see here, we've got a meme that says, Sonic says eat the rich. Someone said, stop posting Sonic no-no. There's a few more pictures of Sonic there with the communism logo. Oh, guys. I have to say, it fills my heart with joy to see people using Sonic to troll the far right. It's just brilliant. It's... I love the internet. I hate the internet and I love the internet at the same time. This is, uh... This is, this is pretty funny. Sega's speedy meme king is particularly well represented with tags like Sonic's feet, Sonic is my god, Sonic loves communism, Sonic my love, and Sonic came in my bussy. Ask your father about that one. Tracking the sometimes pregnant bluebirds presence across the nascent social media network or shitheads. But despite Getter's professed dedication to Breeze Peach, a peek into accidentally leaked source code reveals its operations can add or remove trending topics at will. To arms, Blue Bussy Brigade, you're being censored. It's also quite easy to impersonate well-known conservative figures on the service, as evidenced by an account for Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh enthusiastically sharing images of massive Sonic treading on a hapless fursona. 
I'm split on whether Hercules actor Kevin Sorbu's profile is real or not. That fellow is a bit touched. Prominence of Sonic amid the Get Our Ship hosting ruckus will come as no surprise to dedicated internetologists. Since his 1991 debut, Sega's Hedgehog has found a special place in fans' hearts even as he's acted as a gateway for an unknown number into the realms of furrydom. His fandoms persisted through the series' many ups and downs, and in many recent years, he's become a key player in absurd Twitter and TikTok memes that often bridge the gap between the furry community. Weirdly, Twitter overly online leftists and places in between. Unfortunately for Getter and its would-be users, the torrent of furry leftist filth shows no signs of stopping anytime soon, especially given the recent media attention. Perhaps, maybe, Mr. Trump, who actually hasn't joined the fledgling service yet, will step in with his legendary negotiation skills to reassert order and make Getter great again. Great for something besides Sonic feet pics, I mean. <laughs> Oh my god, this is too funny. That's right, Sonic is infiltrating Getter with Buriedom and feet pics and him being pregnant. And this is all stuff I hate within the Sonic franchise. I really can't stand this stuff. But when it's being used to troll the right wing, I can have some fun with that. And just to preface, if I see Sonic trolling the left wing as well, I think that's hilarious. I don't want to be discriminating against any particular voting group here. I just think it's brilliant that Sonic is trolling on these political matters. Hey, you want to talk about universal healthcare in the US? Too bad. Here comes pregnant Sonic. You want to talk about taxation for the rich and lesser taxation for the poor? Well, too bad. Here's Sonic stepping on a ferry. It's just brilliant. It deconstructs the entire narrative all the aggression there is between left and right-wing politics. Bang, there's Sonic the Hedgehog in the middle, just pausing a scene and, I don't know guys, I just think absolutely hilarious. I'm never gonna go on Getter. It's clearly not the social media platform for me, so I'm never gonna see any of this on my own. So I'm glad that Kotaku have brought this to my attention. And I just, honestly, this is absolutely hilarious. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below it really helps with that engagement also if you could slap a like on it and of course hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you never miss out on any of the latest clammy had to content a lot of people haven't been getting notifications for my videos and streams recently so the best way to make sure you do is hitting that little bell and hitting the all button i am your number one source of sonic the hedgehog news on the youtubes so you want to stick around you want to hit subscribe come play some sonic games on stream with me check out the sonic videos Maybe you want to see one of the best Sonic Smash players you can ever find. It's not me, but you could watch me anyway. I'm trying to hit 1,500 subscribers by the end of July. So with your help, we can make that happen. Slap a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Because that is what it takes to be a calamity. Lots of love, guys. Bye.